St. Luke's and Moravian Village are working together to provide wound care for their patients. Welcome to Moravian Village. Enjoy your stay here. The joy you get in your job at Moravian Village is to see a resident being discharged out the facility. There's a lot of residents coming in. We have many admissions. We have many discharges. You got to realize that the majority of our residents are going home. So you got to take great pride and joy in that you're helping this person go to a place that they want to go. It costs money to transport somebody from the nursing home to one of our wound care facilities. So somebody had the brilliant idea of bringing the wound center to Moravian Village. We're long-term care facilities licensed in skilled nursing care. We're also part of a continuing care retirement community of Bethlehem. We have, we have independent cottages and apartments. Uh, we also have personal care in addition to the skilled facility. The benefit that I see from it really has helped out that patients don't need to travel to go from here to the hospital where Bethlehem's wound center is. I ended up with a, a thing called C. diff which caused uh, me to end up with a wound on my back. And it, the wound got so bad that I, I had to go to the hospital. And then in the hospital, they, they had to scrape it down to the bone. And then they said I should go for rehab. Everybody here knows all about the wounds and, and what to do and keep you turning from side to side. Wherever else it seemed to be just a, a routine kind of thing and I wanted more than a routine kind of thing. St. Luke's has really helped out by putting a wound center at Moravian Village. Basically everything I could do at St. Luke's in our wound center I can do pretty much just about all of them here at Moravian Village. We are licensed as a long-term care facility, but we take great pleasure in our discharge rate. It's among the highest in the area here. Residents are coming in, they're leaving within 14 days, and that's really unheard of in the long-term care business. I'm very pleased with all the help here. They all seem to understand. Sometimes I don't need a lot of care, and sometimes I need care like every 15 minutes. And uh, it's never, you know, like I'm a pain in a fanny about it. I think Milton would love to go home. If we get his wound a little bit better and it's, it's easier to take care of by family or such, I think he should be able to get out of here. My goal is to finish the healing here and then to have an operation on the spine so I can get up and walk again. And then once I get up and walk again, I can go out and drive again. <laughs> Joining me in the studio is Judy Sachs, Assistant Director and Dr. Stephen Bowers, Medical Director of the Wound and Hyperbaric Centers at St. Luke's University Healthcare Network. Thank you both for being here today. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about what people can expect with wound care and what St. Luke's offers patients, Dr. Bowers. Um, so at the wound centers, we, we offer treatment for all types of wounds. Mainly we see chronic wounds, uh, so wounds that haven't healed for approximately three to four weeks. Um, and we get you know, a lot of patients sent from primary care docs, whether they're uh, uncomfortable or not sure how to handle those wounds or just don't have the time to handle those wounds. Um, we see surgical patients who have some more acute type wounds, but mainly we deal with, with chronic wounds. And Judy, you have patients coming in all the time to the St. Luke's Wound Care Centers, and you also offer hyperbaric medicine. What can they expect when they come to the Wound Care Center? We'll get the referral from um, a provider, either via fax or a phone call. Um, we'll call, we'll schedule them for um, a consult with either Dr. Bowers or Dr. Luke. Um, they'll come in, they'll see him or Dr. Luke. They'll, I'll talk to them, I'll go over all of the, you know, the, what we're gonna do from the time they come in for their treatment until the time they leave for the treatment. We'll give them a tour of the hyperbaric center so they can see it. And I would imagine that's, that's pretty interesting because not many people have the opportunity to see a hyperbaric center or chamber. So Dr. Bowers, what's involved with that and how does that help the healing process? Uh, so with hyperbaric uh, treatments, we put people in the chamber. Um, it's a, it's a, called a monoplace chamber, so it's an acrylic tube. One person goes in at a time. There are other centers that have multi-place chambers. And what happens is they go in, 
Uh, inside that chamber, they're breathing 100% oxygen. At room air, we breathe 21%. Oh, wow, that's a big difference. Yes, mm -hmm. so they're breathing 100% oxygen that's in the chamber, and then we increase the pressure. So it's, it's basically like they're going 33 feet uh, into the ocean. That, that depth Incredible. is the pressure. So we go from one atmosphere to two atmospheres. And what that allows is the oxygen to get driven into the liquid part of our blood. Right now it's on our, our red blood cells, and we basically eliminate that, push the oxygen into the blood, uh, and that allows about 10 times more oxygen to be delivered to areas that need it, which might be a chronic wound sure. or an area that has had radiation damage. That's really incredible. Judy, what kind of difference do you see from patients? What's the reaction that you get from patients when they've gone through this hyperbaric treatment? They, typically when they come out, they feel normal. Um, the only thing that they usually complain about is their ears because of the pressure changes, um, but that's it. And do Older they see people? sooner healing? I mean, is it, does it work? Yeah, it does work. That's it does amazing. work. Mm -hmm. Usually, I think within 10 treatments, 10 to 12 treatments, we'll see a difference in their wounds. Wow, what a great thing to offer. How important is it, Dr. Bowers, to have that communication between yourself, the other specialists, whether they be surgeons or uh, family medicine docs, in that healing process for a patient? I imagine they're coming to you at kind of a difficult time. Yeah, it's very important, and I do my best to communicate uh, with, with all the providers involved, and usually it's a vascular surgeon or a general surgeon, or, or we work a lot with our plastic surgeon, um, the primary care docs. You know, it's usually a, a team effort to heal a wound because there's usually multiple things going on. So, When patients go through wound and hyperbaric care management and you see them from the beginning to the end, what is that reaction like and how does it transform their lives to have those wounds taken care of? They're, they're with us typically 30 to say 60 treatments for hyperbaric wound care. It's, it could be a little bit longer for wound care. Um, to see them come in, you know, oftentimes they're, they're depressed, they're sad, you know, their um, quality of life is decreased. Um, so to see them go through, you know, having the, the, the worst of the worst wound or, you know, whatever is wrong with them and seeing them through the whole process is very, um, it's satisfying. It's satisfying. They always want to come back to us. We have them actually follow up and uh, send cards, call us, they'll stop by because they actually become our family. It's got to be great to see how it can help them get back to their life as well. And mm -hmm. Dr. Bowers, you know, you guys also go out into the community. So we saw at Moravian Village and you've got relationships out in the community to provide wound care um, to maybe the elderly population that can't necessarily get to you. Why is that important for their quality of life and their healing? Well, I mean, it just makes it easier for them as a patient. You know, not all, not all patients have access or, or, you know, can't get rides to, to, to get to the visit or you know, there's some type of limitation. Um, so to be able to get out into the nursing home, it's usually nursing homes that we'll, we'll go out to and you know, send a provider uh, to be able to assess those wounds. And It must be nice for people to know that these services exist. Dr. Bowers, what do you want people to know who might be suffering with a wound uh, about the care that they can receive at St. Luke's? Mm -hmm. uh, mainly that, that there is an option, there, that you know, there, is, there is care available for these patients. They, you know, no one should be suffering with, with any type of chronic wound. Um, and, and we see it, people have, have wounds for years that haven't been addressed properly, and a lot of times people just don't know that you know, we're available and it's an option to, to be sent to the wound care center. Oh, that's really important. Uh, Dr. Bowers and Judy, thank you so much for joining us. For more information on wound and hyperbaric care at St. Luke's University Health Network or anything from today's show, go to our website at thepeaktv.com. Thanks for watching, and remember, every day is an opportunity to be your best self. This is The Peak. What would you like to see on our channel? Comment below and give us an idea.